Each executor has a dedicated assign window. To access it, press the assign hard key and then one of the hard keys associated with the required executor. The assign window itself has two different modes, function and settings. Function deals with major changes in what the executor is playing back and how it is playing it back. Settings allows you to customize the executor in ways that are appropriate for what has been selected in function. In function, we can choose which sequence we want this particular executor to play back and whether it will be played back as a cue list or a chaser. Note that a sequence can be played back in multiple locations as a cue list and or as a chaser. In fact, a sequence can be both, a cue list and a chaser at the same time. As seen before, editing a sequence in one location will automatically update all locations where the sequence is used. In contrary, changes in the assigned window belong to the executor rather than the sequence. Therefore, they do not affect other instances of the same sequence. A group master gives you overriding intensity control over any group that you have created. Other consoles sometimes refer to this function as submaster. A special master is a catch-all term for a number of special fader functions. A speed group master is an executor fader that controls the speed of all chasers set to the same speed group. With this function, you can control the speed of large numbers of separate chasers using one executor fader. The sound hold option enables you to control the delay time of a trigger via an executor fader. The sound BPM gives you control over the before calculated beat per minute via an executor fader. Using master exec fade option gives access to the set time manual fader executor button via an executor fader. The Grandmaster special master maps the control of the Grandmaster of GrandMA to an executor fader. The Special Master is particularly useful in case of using a GranMA replay unit because of their lack of a Grandmaster. The Master Preset Fade allows you to control the Preset Set Time Manual Fader via an Executor Fader. Effect allows you to place any specific effect on an Executor. This gives you the ability to trigger an effect on the fly using a hard key instead of a key in the effects pool. Bitmap effect lets you place any specific bitmap effect on an executor to trigger the effect using a hard key instead of a soft key. The name soft key is a direct and easy way to change the name of the sequence. The edit soft key opens the edit menu for the sequence. In the settings side of the assign window, the options reflect how the item plays back and what tools are available to manipulate the playback. In case of a sequence on the executor fader, the assign window looks like the one shown. With button and fader assignment, we can choose how many hard keys and hard faders are used for this executor fader. Note that the settings are almost identical for executor button playbacks. A sequence can occupy up to five executor faders or executor button hard keys. Each fader and hard key can have its function defined to provide the functions you want at your fingertips.